Hey guys, it's the weekend here and uh, we're relaxing with some beer. Um, just done a ton of gardening work outside all morning and um, pretty pooped, so um, beer time. So um, basically I've got a sip it for you guys, um, and for those of you who don't know what a sip it is, um, I basically stole the idea off um, Craig Faraway from Craig Tube. Um, I don't think he does it anymore, um, he just did it a couple times and, and kind of mentioned the idea so I like it, works really well. So basically what it is, it's a really mini, mini, mini beer review. Not even really a review, just an analysis. So um, here we have today the, what do they call it? The Funkenstein Black IPA from Funk Estate, which is a brewery here in New Zealand I guess. Uh, let me just double check that. Is this a New Zealand brewery? Yes it is. Cool. Um, so basically, yeah, black IPA, 7%, uh, what have we got, 330ml bottle, yep. Uh, they say they've got Pacific Gem, Cascade, Nelson Savin, and Pacifica Hops. Uh, the malts are Marisota, Caramel, Crystal, Carrot Aroma, and Carafa. So that's pretty cool. Oh, my hands are all shaky from holding gardening tools. Good lord. So I got this um, this beer off a guy from work, Ryan. Um, cheers for that, mate. Well, well appreciated, that's for sure. <sighs> nice. Getting slight uh, hot bite there. Um, we're also hitting kind of a slight coffee uh, note and almost... Um, Almost into a stout type aroma. Really interesting. Um, it's not too bad on the appearance. Uh, the head sort of lingers around a little bit. And it's it's very, very black. It's it's actually bordering on opaque. So um, almost stout-like. Just a sort of a tan-coloured head on it. So no, I might be picking up on the um, the malt. Uh, sorry, not the malt, the yeast. <laughs> Just a slight yeast note there as well. Yeah, really nice. You're getting just a um, kind of a slight citrus background on the hops. Um, just a really nice round body to it as well. Slight coffee note in the flavour. Yeah, the the malt is um, it's really nicely rounded. Like it really works well together. And as I mentioned, it had quite a bit of a malt bill. Um, good bitterness, um, about sort of medium uh, in terms of what you can perceive um, because. The malt is obviously offsetting that a little bit, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'd say all round, really good drinkability. I'd easily finish this bottle off and um, could, yeah, could probably go back for a second, so um, there you go. Anyway, <clears throat> I've been too long once again. Enjoy good beers. Cheers, guys.